Hi everyone, this is the Math 30-1 Trig 2 Review, and this is question 9A. We're being asked to find the exact value of the following. Okay, let's take a look at the, this first one, cosine of 195. Now, with questions like this, what I like to do is, is reduce these things down to the reference angle. Okay, anytime I approach problems like this, I want to know what the reference angle is. Now, 195 is going to be in quadrant 3, so I know cosine is going to be negative in quadrant 3. So cosine of 195 will be the negative cosine of, and then in quadrant 3, I just think 195 minus 180, my answer is going to be 15 degrees. Okay, good. That's a good start here. Now it's at a, a, a we're looking at a more reasonable angle here. 15. How do I get 15 from the special angles there? Well, there's a couple of ways to do it, but what I'll do here is I will do the cosine of 45 minus 30 degrees. So the negative cosine of 45 minus 30 degrees. Now I've got this difference identity here, or the beginnings of it. So this is going to become negative, and I, I gotta have that negative outside there. That, that is referring to this negative here, because this negative is, is applied to the whole expression here. But this is gonna be broken down into two different expressions. So this will be the cosine of 45 degrees cosine of 30 degrees plus the sine of 45 degrees, sine of 30 degrees, okay, all within those brackets there. And now, this will end up being, well, cosine of 45 is going to be root 2 over 2. Cosine of 30 degrees is going to be root 3 over 2, plus the sine of 45 is root 2 over 2. And the sine of 30 degrees is just 1 over 2. Okay, so putting that together, that is going to be negative root 6 plus root 2 all over 4. Okay, and you can distribute that negative through if you want, but just understand that negative needed to be there the whole time.